Hey guys, Beecher here. Welcome back to Doki Doki Before Story, okay? Missed last episode? Check it out. Let's, uh, let's do it. I'm not wasting time. Now, as the president, I wonder what kind of shenanigans we're gonna get into. I open the doors to the club room. Sayuri Natsuki and Yuri are looking at me and Monica. Okay, everyone. You know, we gotta do that thing. Okay, everyone. Because we are the president, right? Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? So we asked all the girls to write their own poems, and I'm gonna guess that they did it. <laughs> But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. It's all the mystery. Great, we've been waiting forever, you know. What were you two doing? Running errands or something? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Monica last episode uh, was chasing us. We were kind of playing around. I suppose we should begin uh, the reading. I felt to make an ex explanation for all of them, but I guess that doesn't matter. I'm the club president anyway. Scruffy, you're the president of the literature club. You should be the one to lead the poem reading. Wow, Sayuri's giving us a talking to. Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I made everyone do such an embarrassing assignment. I did this stuff a couple of times in my old club, but there's a lot of weight hanging on me now. <laughs> well... <laughs> well, now that everyone's ready, why don't we all find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out of their poems. Pull their po <laughs> What? Pull their poems out. Sayuri's on a wrinkled... Sayuri is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a, com a composition notebook. Okay, I used those a lot in high school. I'm sure you guys too do too. It's really common. Anyway, that's what all the cool kids have, right? I was a cool kid. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and I, yeah, yeah. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Ooh, we get to pick. All right, guys. So, all right. So last episode, we decided that we're gonna go for Monica. I want to go for Monica because I mean, we've never actually had a Monica around. So that's what I'm gonna do, all right? I know what you guys are saying. Go for Natsuki. I want to go for Natsuki. That's what my my heart's telling me to do. But I'm gonna go for Monica right now. I should start with Monica. I barely spoke to her going home yesterday. Oh, hey, Monica! I just cannot think of not not think of that song. You know what I mean? Having a, a good time so far? Oh yeah, yeah, I am. Glad to hear. <laughs> By the way, since you're good at clubs and everything, if you ever hear any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we could do better, I'm always listening. So don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Okay, Scrub Pie, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll need Monica to bring things up. I feel really bad, though. Limit limiting her talents to a club like this when she could be joining other clubs like volleyball or programming. Uh, programming. Yeah, she needs it, I think. <laughs> anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess it's way, uh, a way for us to get to know each other again. Don't worry, Scrub Pie. Uh, we're all a little embarrassed uh, today, you know? But it's a sort of barrier that we'll have to learn to get past uh, soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. Oh, she has judging eyes. Hey, Monica? I know it's bad. They did say you were a good writer. Who did? The other girls? Scrub Pie, I like this, I like this poem. The words. The way you express them. Ah, well, about that. Writing poems is easy for me nowadays. All I have to do is choose the right words. That smile- <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? That smile of yours tells me a different story. I'm not too sure as to why you would delve into these themes for a first poem, let, let alone tackle a subject like this. It's almost daring, really. Well, it's about you, Monica, I think. That's what I was trying to go for, but I don't really know if we picked the right words. I tried to pick most of them. You chose me to read it first, too. Are you trying to impress me? Uh, yes, actually. How do you know that? Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know. I don't have that much control yet, so... Wait a minute. I'm sorry? I'm so... Did you... What did you just say? I don't have that much control yet. I'm on, I'm on to you! What do you mean, control? You no, know, normally I would just look over that line, but it's uh, really fishy. Say control. Are we talking about the club? I don't think so, okay? I hope you don't get the wrong idea. I'm a big fan of direction. Making a poem too happy or too simple, too deep or too sad, it's all for nothing unless you've got the end in mind, you know? A unifying theme and an end goal. Something to hold on to so you don't aimlessly write. Alright, Monica, I'll keep these in mind. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel everyone will be comfortable doing this assignment anyway. That's all good. What matters is that you're trying. People will talk about giving their best when they often, when often they don't define what's best even means, you know? Monica is right, she's gotten to detail about it before we all left home yesterday. I'm just glad I took a break from leadership. It always feels nice, I'm, uh, like I'm on a spotlight. Like I'm always there for people, like no one is really there for me at all, that sort of thing. I guess I'd like to be last for a change. Uh, but you know, it's, it's actually, I'm sure it'd be really refreshing to feel that way. I understand what Monica means. People must put her on a pedestal glorifying an image of her instead of understanding who she really is as a person. You probably need true friends to fall back to. Yeah, like Sayori. But even then, she could be quite a handful, uh, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all know. I think we all know. One can't fully be responsible for the happiness of others. It seems like she has more to say, but Monica cuts her speech, uh, short. Well, regardless of how things go, I'll be there for you. It's hard to find good company, you know? 
Thanks, Scrub Pike. It makes me happy to motivate people to the best they can be. Hey, Scrub Pike, can you stop flirting with Monica? Uh, well, her birthday's coming up, okay? That's all I'm saying. Excited for that. Do you still want to read our poems? The poems or what? Natsuki is right, Scrub Pie. It's a bit unfair how you divide your attention. All right, both of you can go talk to your vice president. I'll go read Monica's uh, poem now. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I know how to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. And that's true. A lot of people, they, you know, they talk things, but they don't really feel that inside, okay? I see. Well, let's read it then. Okay, so I'm gonna assume this is a different from the actual game, so let's read it. So it's called Prelude or it's the Prelude? I am a new beginning. The first page, a hopeful dream. I am the door to a new world, the first flight to a new sky, the last train to a new town, the beginning of the end. An old story made new. I am new. I am a new beginning, a character born of necessity, the first step in the dark, the last breath before the dive, the beginning of you and I. I like that, I like that. I am a new beginning, leave the past behind, come take my hand, and let us carve our new plot together. I can get- I can get down with some plot, okay? So, what do you think? Um, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. I like the use of spacing to emphasize a point, and how it all ties to- with being a prelude, just as the poem title says. What was the inspiration? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that this club is a new start for me in a way, plus going back on the past has been influencing my poems a bit. Yeah, you might want to stay out of that. Yeah, nothing but heartache and betrayal. Uh, club politics is what it is. Honestly, I'm kind of nervous to talk about uh, my former clubs because it kind of puts me on edge. Maybe when we're closer. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're not close enough. Hey, I respect your, your, your boundaries. Oh, is that what the boundaries? <laughs> Alright, now we'll do Natsuki, okay? Hi. <laughs> Scrub if you're going to give us such assignments, can you at least be good at it? What? Harsh? What do you expect me to believe? That you're actually putting some effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer, I'm a reader. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about. Got him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you probably think it's stupid. Eagles, oh, it's just the Eagles poem. So I guess, I mean, technically, yeah, we never, I mean, no, wait. Now I'm, like, questioning myself. Did we ever, I think we, maybe we did read that poem before, and I just don't freaking remember. But I gotta say, I think, still, Natsuki is my favorite poem right here, because it's so cute. Yeah. I told you that we, you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just to be honest, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks uh, writing has to be all sophisticated. Okay, this is the same. Okay, this is the same stuff. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I kind of read some, uh, skipped some important. My bad. So, you know, Natsuki goes on the same rant that she did in the, in the normal game. So we all know she's like, eh, well, everyone thinks that everything's got to be so crazy, right? And we say, the whole point of this assignment was to give everyone a voice. So I sympathize with your sentiments. You do? I do. I understand you. And then we go to say this creepy crap. I understand everyone now. Are, is this trying to say that we have? like Monica's powers I think that's what we're getting at because that's like he's saying these weird things out of nowhere wait what do you mean by now what that's what Natsuki says are you are you stalking us no no it's just the way everyone writes yeah sure I don't believe it <laughs> just scrub pie I think that's what we should call this like Monica her freeform style cons uh, concites with her passion to push boundaries and refusal to be constrained by external forces everything really boils down to expression the nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay like you set it up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it all fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. You're really good at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, you question me, Monica. Or, oh, I just sinned. I, I mean, Natsuki. Hey, it helps. Uh, it isn't my first time in the literature club. I bet you were denser than a brick uh, the first time. Eh? What makes you say that? Oh, I heard it from a certain someone. Regardless of who does what, I'm just glad you learned something. I bet my style blew away. Uh, didn't expect that from a youngest one here, did you? <laughs> She's always got, like, a chip on her shoulder. Something that Natsuki's gotta prove. Yeah, I guess not. I just had to humor her for that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her, right? Okay, so next, I guess, Sayuri. Why not? Let's do Yuri last. Wow! <laughs> Scrub Pie, your bum's really bad. Oh my god! So mean! You gotta be kidding me! I'm your president. You're supposed to have my back. It's fine, it's fine. It's the first time for all of us. Besides, I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It reminds me how we were trying to leave the club, not to mention the fact that I gave this assignment to begin with. Uh, well, of course. 
I'm not really good at it, but that doesn't mean I'll be uh, any worse. See? It's like I said once, Grubby. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things uh, like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of why I'm leaving this club. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure we have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. I'll be the best vice president ever. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Okay, we'll see about that. Yeah, for the life of me cannot remember if I actually read these. Uh, I, like, I remember the I want breakfast line. So I think I did read this before, but it's been like, uh, it's been almost a year since we played the original game, so, uh, forgive me if I don't remember everything. Hmm, Sayori, did you wait until this morning to write this? No, I just a little bit. Okay, alright, so, so now we know this is the same thing, except for, oh, you're my vice president. Uh, I forgot to do it last night, and to think you were following up on my poem. Yeah, yeah, you said that mine was bad, you didn't even write one! We are really responsible leaders, huh? Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit uh, better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you, idiot. <laughs> Baka, really? Yeah. What, what was that last line? I made eggs and toast! And that's why we relate to class. You relate to class. It's bad to skip breakfast. It's true. The most important meal of the day. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Writing a poem is really fun. You really are the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Alright, so, Yuri's turn. So, it's probably gonna be the same thing anyway. I remember something about ghosts or something. Yuri stares at the poem. This has some depth to it. Um, oh. Sorry, I forgot you were there for a bit. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I am not. I just need to collect my thoughts. Hold on. Okay. Do you have some history of writing poems? Well, sort of. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be different after reading it, though. But from judging from your face, I think it does, uh, does it fully appeal to you? No! <laughs> Did I just raise my voice? Oh, no, I'm sorry! Yuri buries her, her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I, I didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. Okay, so I think I remember her saying this as well. I knew it! Ghost Under the Light! Okay, so we've already read that. You guys can pause it if you want to read it. So obviously we like it because we all know that Yuri is a master poem writer, so it's not like it's a surprise or anything. Nothing really new, so there's really no point to read that all over again. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone was judging me for my writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can overshadow theirs. This is the literature club after all. Each style attracts its own audience. I guess that's the kind of club that I ended up taking charge of, directing people's passions. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are now happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They are gingerly exchange sheets of paper. <laughs> they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their, their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I uh, watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Oh no, is that argument coming on now? What's with this language? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> She's just like too reading to herself. Uh, this is crap. Nats uh, Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. We, we, don't, we, don't, we, we know that she don't like the fancy stuff. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just with her face, it goes perfect for her to say that. Cute! Did you completely miss the symbolism? Oh no, yeah, here it goes, here it goes, guys. So we know that, like, Natsuki does not like her poem being critiqued, especially by Yuri, because, I mean, maybe, I, I never really thought about this before, but if you think about it, Yuri is the actually complete opposite, and maybe a lot of things that Natsuki might desire about herself, if you, if you catch my drift. Alright, just say it, like, I never thought of that before, but she's, like, okay, taller, you know, she's more... I don't know, okay, how do I say this without sounding weird? Mature? <laughs> you know what I mean? And Natsuki's small, frail, you know, I get it. I get why she doesn't like Yuri. So for Yuri to critique her poems, it's like, yeah, she's gonna take offense to that because of her character. Excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. Okay, and Yuri, you need to be more open, okay? I'm the club leader. You need to be more open to, to each, each other's suggestions. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, oh. It's getting silent now. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our club president, Yuri. Uh, that's not what I... 
<laughs> you, you're just, you're very sensitive as well. Maybe you're just jealous of Scrub. I appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Okay, so this is the argument. But I, it's interesting to see how it is kind of like from the president's point of view. Are we gonna step in and say something? Because Monica did it, I remember. Oh yeah, so, so here comes Sayori. Sayori, go away! <laughs> ah! Oh no, she is saying, Ma uh, Natsuki, that's a little, that doesn't involve you! <laughs> I don't like fighting guys, suddenly both girls uh, turns towards me as if they just noticed I'm standing there. Scrubpie, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true, she started. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple, uh, everyone just shut up! I can't take this, my mind! It's not like I know everything about writing styles, but whoever I, whoever I agree with will probably just think more highly of me. Obviously, this is the girl I like the most out of the four. Uh, wait. Wait, so it's weird how it talks like that. Obviously, this is the girl I like the most out of the four. So, for, so of course, it's gonna be... Well, I mean, if we're trying to go for Yuri or <laughs> Monica, I think we should tell everyone to shut up. Everyone shut up! I take a proper stand and raise my voice. Oh, wow, we did. That's different. Yuri, you are a talented writer. Well, Natsuki has a point. Brevity in writing. I rack my brain to attempt to back myself up. Brevity com conveys just as much feeling in a few in a few words, and can be just as, as impressive. It lets the reader's imagination take over, and Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style, I like she's all writing, or I like how she's all smiling and just enjoying this. And Natsuki, I think that's enough. <laughs> Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me. Natsuki uh, voice whines. She apologized, Natsuki. You need to remember. Vocabulary is so vast. Yuri makes a point in maximizing word use and conveying imagery through the meaningful and al allegorical sentences. Writing is a really personal style, and sharing it can be definitely hard. But you are all beautiful writers. Sometimes small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. Yet yeah, remember at the end of the day, this is our literature club, and all styles should be welcome. I glance over my shoulder. Monica is nodding with a grin. She's like, that's what I'd say. Yeah, right. Get out of here. I'm the president. Thanks, Scrub Pie. All right, so we're all good. I mean, this is pretty much the same thing, right? All right, so we all get along. Everything's okay. All right, so we're all just gonna drink some tea. I'll go make everyone some tea to lighten up the mood. Yuri walks off and Sayuri takes her place. You know, I feel like, uh, I mean, I, I think it would be great if in real life, like, arguments went like this, but I, I don't know. You have to be really mature enough to, to like kind of do this to say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, you know what I mean? I feel like <laughs> no one I, like not, not very many people I know would ever do that, really. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna skip ahead until something interesting happens as far as like the mod, because, you know guys, we, we've already played it all and I don't want to bore you, you know? Oh, Monica said you handled that well. Monica smiles at me sweetly and has my stomach in a knot. Oh, so there's still more t uh, time before we go home. We should all relax for a bit. Besides chatting, we do literature-related things in the club room, so maybe we can talk about the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. That's right. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. <laughs> what? What? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Well, I guess that's why uh, you're his vice president, Sayuri. You know, like, Sayuri, she's such a sweet character. Like, she really is, you know? With all the memes aside and all that. Oh, and Scrub Pie, I'm really happy with your with our leadership. Ah. Uh, Monica seems to like it when I take charge more often. Yeah, I remember when we stood up to her last episode, which is something that did not happen in the book game, she really liked it. She was like, oh, it's, it's about time you did that. I'm pretty sure this must have surprised her. It surprised me too. With how things have been going on, I guess leading this club has been so worth it so far. I guess I should try and gauge whether this poem activity was worth it at all. Okay, everyone. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right, well, mostly. <laughs> Monica, how about you? It was a neat thing to talk about it with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you all learned something from our friends too. From your friends too. Whatever. So all your poems will turn out even better. I look away and think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those that I want to impress. Okay, this sounds like some manipulation going on, which is really what we're gonna do, so it's not wrong. That is to say, with the four of them, Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, Monica, I should probably focus on Monica. It would only make sense, okay? So I'm glad that I at least went the route that I wanted to go. They even like my poem a lot too. This should be easy. I should ask them out after the club period. Maybe focus on finishing all the preparations for the festival first. With that, I guess that with that, I guess the day is about to end. Everyone had fun time had a fun time today. <laughs> Yuri, Yuri shared some tea with everyone for the first time. Natsuki opened up about her baking. Sayuri made everyone laugh. And Monica made some neat suggestions for the festival. 
Before making a motion to dismiss everyone, I think about why I was late to the club room. I've been reading up on writing tips to share from my club. Okay, everyone, before we leave, here's Grumpy's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen on the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. You're all dismissed. Get the heck out of here. I hate you all. Hey, that's true though. Like, okay, I... The, honestly, like, the most creative thing I probably do is how to catch a cheater. And there's no script. I just have an idea of what I want to do. And I literally just go with it. And if I get stuck, I just take a break. Like, honestly. It usually takes me about two days. And by the way, guys, if you didn't know, I made a How to Catch a Cheater just a few days ago. So uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for that. If you don't even know what it is, I highly suggest you check it out. Uh, uh, it's it's really weird, okay? <laughs> but that's how I relate. The girls packed their things. I immediately approached Monica with a smile on my face. Hey, uh, Monica? Look at her. Oh wait, no, am I developing feelings? Oh no, okay, so she's packing in the corner. Sometimes I seem to forget that she's the school star. Oh, Scrapi, did you need anything? I seem hesitant to ask, but remembering the small girl I used to hang out with seems to clear the tension. So, so Monica, do you want to uh, walk home together? Walk home again, I mean? That must have been awkward. I, I, um, I Scrapi walk home, <laughs> what? Yeah, for a moment I thought she was stuttering, but it turns out she was having a little fun at my expense. Glad to hear your thought about it. Well, barely spoke- We barely spoke the other day, you know. It looked as if running the literature club on the first day was a bit too much for you. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Sorry about that, Monica. Hey, it happens even to the best of us. I remember the first time I ran a club. I couldn't really take care of my members all too well. Anyway, I was impressed with how you handle things today. I'd like to talk about that poem you wrote, too. Ah, I'm glad you liked it. I was actually thinking of, uh, about you when I wrote the poem. Oh, 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 uh, hi. You didn't hear that, did you? <laughs> hey, Scrub Hi. Hey, Monica. I see you're both busy. I was just going to ask if you have seen Natsuki. Oh, I overheard, I, oh, I overheard her conversation with Yuri. Said she was going to check out her favorite store or something. I can go with you if you want. Yeah, I can help accompany the two of you. No, no need, I gotta, uh, hurry. Hmm, she'll be fine, I think. You sure? Yeah, I told her she has to stand up for herself or... Or what? Nothing. She's just really sad some days. Tells me she can manage them. I mean, you can walk me to her place instead. Works is kind of a surprise for her too. Ah, you'll hang out with her for the evening? You got it. So in this mod, uh, Monica actually cares for Sayori. Okay. Alright, that works. What a sweet girl. Silence once again lingers between the two of us. So, Monica, I tried to break the ice. I figured you were looking for an escape. Putting all the drama from your old clubs only to find it here again. Maybe you should be a hermit. Ah, yeah, definitely. Nothing like seclusion to get the nerves and mental juice running, right, Scrub Pie? Yeah, sure. Don't get me wrong, though. I do love it, love it with you. With the literature club, I mean. What? No, no, no. I know what you're saying. Okay, I'm catching these lines. Scrub Pie, do you think time is short? Short? Well, everything does feel kind of rushed in a way. We just formed the literature club, and now we need to speed things up for the festival. If you get what I mean. I understand. I guess I was thinking of a lot of things. I usually do my best to make sure I spend my time productively. It's one of the things you have to... to know how to handle. I see. Ever the efficiency expert? When I think about what was just said, time being short, back then I had all the time in the world, and I wasted it through seclusion and forgetting about the world around me. If there was one thing that... Th if there was one thing this day taught me, it was that I should take more initiative. So, Monica, the day's about to end, and you did say time was short. Maybe. Maybe we can do something tomorrow at this time. Together. Hmm? <laughs> like you and me on a d She seems lost in thought. Now that's either the face of like, uh, I'm blushing or I, uh, I don't know how to tell him that I hate his guts. Like, we'll have to find out. <laughs> I thought it would be easy. Oh, hey, Sayuri's place is just around the corner, you know. We can all do something right now if you want. Though I doubt Sayuri has the energy- Oh, we just got friend zone. Like, we just got friend zone. Okay? Ah, yeah. I do recognize the street. <laughs> I visited Sayuri a couple of times, but maybe I'll just pass on that group activity. At least go and greet her, Scrub Pie. It's not every day that you visit each other. I did tell you that she was appreciating, uh, she would appreciate the de gesture, I guess. We should be making a turn around here anyway. The last, like, the least I can do is visit my vice president. I guess so.
We walk up to Sayuri's house. This is all new. I had to tutor, I had to tutor her a couple of times and her family got used to seeing me already, but I find it funny that I never really bumped into Monica whenever that happened. As we walk up to her house, I take a mental note of how quiet the street is. What makes you so sure Sayuri is at home? There's not much we can do if she's out hanging with Natsuki. Hmm. Knowing Sayuri, she usually heads straight to bed. She runs out of energy rather quickly and we barely hung out at the end of the day as she holds up in her room and wants to be left alone. I think you can trust me on this one. Monica and I ring the doorbell. I like this music, really nice. I'm pretty sure Monica can enter and go as she pleases, but maybe it's more for me over anything. A tired looking Sayuri shows up at the front door. Monica? Scrapai? Hello Sayuri, we thought of dropping by to say hello. I know you were probably sleeping and everything, but Scrapai and I wanted to say hello. You didn't have to, you know. Weren't you two going on a date or something? Oh, she heard it. I knew it. Ah, maybe me being paired with Monica made a little, uh, made me a little red there. The thought of that does seem enticing, actually. Sayuri, you're my vice president. I just wanted to check up on you, like your best friend Monica. That makes me happy, Scrub High. But I think I need some time alone. Both of you need to understand that. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Hey, we're good. But Sayuri, I think you seem a little bit sadder than usual. I'm fine, Monica. Scrub High, you can leave us for now. Monica said that last few lines rather sternly. I think I should leave them be. Yeah. Take a, take a hint. And with that, I'm off to write another poem. Maybe I should spend some time to get to know my vice president instead. The voice, the choice is in my hands. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we have to do another poem for Monica. Why do I feel like it's gonna end up the same as the actual Doki Doki though? Like, I don't know. I would like to save Sayori, but I'm more focused on what Monica, what Monica's story is gonna be about. Click? No, dang it, not, this is harder than it looks. Vivid. Oh my god. Sing. Oh my god. I can't get- I've already got answer 7! Violet- ah. Uh, I don't even know, guys. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting. I've gotten a little more comfortable as president over the past couple days. Entering the club, uh, the usual scene greets me. Hi, scrub. Hi. Yo, Sayuri, it looks like you're in a good mood today. I trust yesterday must have gone well for you and Monica. We did visit to make sure you were doing alright. We spoke about a lot of things. A lot of girl things. Ah. Best I'd leave it at that. Anyways, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No, she wants me to buy it for her. Okay, so here's the difference. Basically, we're going through the same kind of story, and, you know, Sayuri got hit with a cookie in the face. Like, I think we all know it. If you haven't seen the original, you should go watch me play that or play the game yourself. So Natsuki says, Monica, can you tell Sayuri? Uh, Natsuki in the club glances at Monica. She stands silently by the open club window. Uh, she's doing it again. Doing what again? Good question, in case you haven't noticed, Skrupai, she's she has a habit of looking out the window recently. That's weird. I don't think she can hear us even. Maybe she feels a bit broken or something. Or outcast, I don't know. I should talk to her. Yeah, I, have, I haven't either. I do think it's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had a really bad day. She's pretty popular after all. What if she has a boyfriend? <laughs> I mean, she never told me. I wouldn't be surprised. She did leave all of her clubs. It's quite possible that included a couple of old relationships uh, and loose ends. Not that it matters. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. That's true. Excuse me? I'd like to see Monica bake a cupcake? <laughs> Got him. That was loud. Noski picks up another wrap cookie. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't mean to like phase out or anything. I hope you guys weren't worried. Uh, they say you're thinking about your boyfriend. <laughs> you, you never really told me about him. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? I was going over to the festival prep uh, preparations in my head. We can't really slack off. I find that hard to believe. Oh, never mind that. I'm sure you had more pressing things to worry about. I'm actually really curious of what she was worrying about. Is it us? Maybe she doesn't want to get with us because she knows what Sayuri thinks. That's probably it. I mean, that, that would make sense to the story. To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. That makes no sense, though. I don't know anyone who would just space out like that unless they had some tragedy happen to them or something. I still kind of have piano notes playing in my head. It's hard to explain. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. I don't, really. I kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. I hope she doesn't leave us for the music club. That's so cool! We should get- we should go practice! That's- Monica looks at Sayuri. Maybe we should focus on the festival first. Yay! <laughs> When she stands to the side, you know it's serious. That sounds like the right thing to do. I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, we should all work together, Skrupai. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't really... I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I've been doing a whole lot of that recently. I'd really love the chance to see your reaction when I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. 
So I did- so I didn't miss anything, did I? Not really. I choose to leave out Sayuri's mischievous escapade. Escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayuri somehow already finished her entire cookie. Monica is talking about, uh, doing something- or about something. And Yuri's, uh, talking- and Yuri's in her book. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Monica comes up to me. Hey, I'm gonna go get some supplies from another classroom. You should come with me. Supplies? For the festival, maybe. Yeah, after talking with Sayuri, we were gonna make some posters, uh, posters and stuff, so I need to find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. It gets really boring hanging out in the club room sometimes. Ah, I see. What the heck am I doing for this club? I should be organizing! Sure, I'll go with you. Excellent. So, okay, so instead of Sayuri, we're going with her, which is different. I think, right? That's what happened? What kind of club are you running? You're just gonna leave us here? Natsuki's right yet again, Scrub Pie. I don't suppose we gave up on reading each other's poems now. Do you want me to take charge of things now, for now, Scrub Pie? I mean, it's my job to do that while you're gone, so... Alright, alright, we'll be out real quick. You guys go and do some reader, uh, reading or something. This won't, this won't take one minute. Glad you got that handled, Scrub Pie. Yeah, we gotta step up. Monica, Monica and I exit the club room, so we got that original music again. I follow behind as Monica glides around the hallway. Honestly, I should practice my walking posture as I tend to hunch over like a complete loser. Everything really boils down to elegance and a kind of... Brezutra? <laughs> I've never heard that word. When it comes to Monica and successful people. I mean, she always looks like she has it together. Hey, Monica. What exactly are we doing for the festival again? Uh, Sayuri and I have it planned out. Don't you worry. It's that so. Man, I'm a terrible- I'm a terrible president. Yep. We're gonna do poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone is gonna take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Easy as that. Uh, that sounds kind of dull? Scrub Pie, you're not talking- you're not taking the right perspective at all. It's not just about reading poems, it's about performing them. Hmm. Don't move and keep your eyes focused on me. Should go something like, like, keyboard on a piano. The ivory notes beckon to me. I press the key, freeing it from the dusty abode. Awakening an old memory. But to what end have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the rooms that were once alive no longer have sound. Just like that, <laughs> I like that little hop. Just like that, Scrub Pie. Wow, Monica, she seems more skilled in uh, recitation than I am. Must be your experience with the debate club. I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for any straight guy not to fall in love with you when you do that. Now you're just teasing me, Mr. President. I'd like to see you try. Oh, so we actually said that? I'm fairly certain you don't have anything planned yet. Yeah, she knows. <laughs> I'm just really excited for the festival. Pretty sure the festival is going to be uh, so much fun this time around. Monica grabs my hand as we continue onwards into the hallway. Hey, Scrub Pie, this classroom over here is empty. Let's go and grab the supplies before the girls think we're on a date or something. A date, huh? It's been a long time since I spent uh, time with Monica like this, but in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but objective-driven and happy girl with the world on her in her hands. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in uh, my room more and more, so going adventuring with Monica brings out a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. The two of us enter the classroom. Monica heads straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons. Monica pulls a box of crayons. Oh, I like this brand. A bit dirty, but I think uh, with a bit polishing, Monica delicately removes crayons from out of the box, reading the color names. All right, the all right, that's that's down. Do we need to? Do we still need to find anything? Monica walks over to the club room doors to close it. Oh, uh, what what for? She walks straight up to me. So scrub eye. Oh oh my god. The closed doors of Monica standing so close to me makes my heart race a little. I try to calm myself by remembering the little girl I grew up with. Yes, Monica? I just want to get something out of the way. Are you still single? Yeah? I, uh, never actually had a girlfriend before. I mean, not in this universe. <laughs> Sorry if it's rather pathetic of me. Uh, I never actually had a boyfriend either. Oh, oh, okay. And keep that a secret. I don't know if it's because I'm a vegetarian or if I'm a bit of a control freak. Maybe because of both. But I guess I feel comfortable telling you. I see. It's good to have some someone to confide in. We girls are very protective of our image and well, I think uh, mine is kind of ruined lately. Ruined, you say? Because we're seeing a different side of Monica. I've been called a scheming flirt and political climber on many occasions. It's as if I can't have feelings for anyone these days. Hey. What matters is that we're here. People come and go, but friends, we stay together. You're a real sweetheart, Scrub Pie. Thanks, Monica. 
Monica and I searched the club room for more supplies. We almost had a little crayon fight even. It's a little lively activity for both of us and we ended up slumping into chairs adjacent to us. I didn't expect this little adventure to be a ton of fun. You were always that innocent sweet girl just like back then. I remember I could never pretend to hurt you in those games we used to play. Do you still remember how we met? How we met? You were playing with the ball and it rolled over to me and then you started playing with me. That's when I knew you were a good person. You've always had, uh, been you've always been a good person. Uh, my heart. Remember that one time where I was flying a kite and it got stuck in a tree? Oh, I totally remember that. Yeah, I tried to get it, but I fell from the tree in the process. All this seems just like it, it happened. It just happened. All these memories rushing back to me. You always cared for me, Scorpi. Like that one time you were having that ice cream. It was your favorite flavor, mint chocolate chip. And you saw me looking at it. You just handed it to me before even tasting it. That was like in fifth grade. All this is so long ago. You still remember all of that? How could I forget? You always remember my interests. You know... You know I love chocolate, so you got me that huge box assorted with different kinds. That makes me a little hungry. I imagine how much that must have cost. All of my allowance, in fact, but it was well spent. I took a picture when I gave it to you. I wish I took a picture. I make a mental note to bring a camera if such a situation were to present itself. You look so happy and adorable. Monica slowly starts to pace around the room. All these things. No one ever did these things for me. No one ever cared for me this much. When I was still nobody, Monica, I had to... I felt I need to. I just, it just feels so good to have someone like you for who you are, that's all. I soon notice the time, we gotta get back. Pretty sure they're starting a mutiny right now. Well they can't do it without me Scrub Pie, that's a fact. Welcome back! Well that was interesting guys, I like that. So we're really starting to see that other side of Monica, which is what makes this mod I think so special and I think it's really really well written and I just can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, anyway, yeah, there's there's like multiple endings with this uh, mod as well, so I think it's a full-fledged thing. If you guys enjoy it, please smash the like button down below, guys. Uh, watch some more episodes, <laughs> please. But yeah, I'm not gonna do scrub of the day, guys. Uh, thank you so much uh, for liking, commenting, subscribing. I feel like Rhett and Link, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Why can't I get a glass? You Screw you. Why can't I get a glass? You bother? And I think it's in the show. Yeah, dance while you can. Cause you won't be dancing very long. Why can't I get a place you bother in this last episode? Screw you. I swear it's a fantasy game. It has something to do with this. I was only tilted. I wasn't planning on it.